We'll keep going. We're gonna finish this thing from like best French for the jungle. Hopefully we ain't gonna die. The caution is too extreme. The crash bars are brush guards right now. I'm in my head. I need a minute. I'm gonna keep doing it in Trav's ear on the comms. You're modeling for me. You're doing great. Up here, it's great views like all day. Look at this. Chum Stick Mountain. That is a view. I would love to never do that again. We are dispersed camping for the evening. It is unfortunately Travis's last night. Previously on Lost. We're excited to keep going on this trip. Look at my hand. I mash you banter. Cows, 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 cows. Bear, bear, bear! I saw a chipmunk, so that's something. These are the roads my wife does not like it when I ride. Tim can ride, is what I'm saying. He's pretty badass. Oh, that looks bad. And now, the conclusion. Good morning. Slept pretty well for camping. Definitely got eight hours in, which has not been a thing any of the other nights, so that's good. Obviously you wake up here and there, but slept until seven. We're gonna make some coffee, and maybe have a little breakfast, pack up and get back on the trail. And keep going, we're gonna finish this thing for Mike. In honor of Mike the Badass. Yep. It's a montage. We're gonna need a montage. <laughs> Matty! Oh, I wonder if she feels bad. About me? No. Our new catchphrase. No. First coffee, then thinky, then people. These two aren't people. Enjoying morning coffee and social media before we have to go back up into the wild with no cell phone service. Uh, most of us were posting updates about about Mike from yesterday, but so Tim caught us yesterday, <clears throat> rode all of section six and section five, and also rode from where we were camping up to the border and down. So Tim is a badass. How was day two, gentlemen? Uh, eventful, yeah. fun, challenging fun, with some surprises. There were some surprises, yeah. Yeah. Definitely a little bit of a downer ending. It was like a good day, five, despite Literally that, five minutes from pavement. Yeah, right, mm -hmm. thank God because I got there so fast. Aside from that, what was the most surprising thing yesterday? I don't know if I expected section five to be that rough. It wasn't undoably rough, but I, I had not heard that section five was like that. So. Yeah, six and five are supposed to be the e easiest except for one, right? Oh. So what the hell is ahead of us? <laughs> section two. I, mean, I wasn't at the edge of my ability, but I was a good 80% probably a lot, a lot of times. It's not, not my ability, my confidence. I would say I was at 80% of my confidence. Section 6 was a lot of fun. I didn't expect it to be so much fun. I bet, especially blasting it like you were. Yeah. yeah. No one in front of me, and there's no traffic. Yeah. yeah. A, lot a, a lot of cows. A lot of cows. That's a lot of cows. What are you most excited for going forward? The jungle. Yeah, That's today. The jungle. Yeah. I'm excited to see the jungle. That's this morning, like right at the beginning. And the jungle is supposedly super overgrown. Like it's called, it's not a very clever name. It's just super overgrown narrow path like better for motorcycles than rigs but hopefully it's intact yeah because i want to see that the jungle and babyhead hill are like and bethel ridge are like the landmarks mm -hmm. it seems like mm -hmm. uh, they're the pois that people talk about i never heard anyone really All talk about skull and crossbones which they should skull and crossbones was awesome yeah yeah i definitely feel more refreshed today than i have any day the shower last night helped but pack up and get back on the road and uh hit le jungle the jungle? Yeah. The jungle. That's French for the jungle. I don't know if you knew that. Also, he also says Tarje. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. Guns N' Roses references have already started. So, uh, you know, there's going to be about 14 do you know where you are as we go up through the jungle, baby. Hopefully, we ain't going to die. We'll see. Before I throw the bags back on the bike, I want to show you guys the new pannier racks I got. These are the Hepco and Becker pannier racks. So, they're the same ones that are on my. Tenere 700, which means they're the same size, and I can just swap my round the world bags back and forth with my giant little mounts on the back from bike to bike. So it's pretty awesome. They've been doing great, holding up fine. They work fantastic, so pretty happy with those. Also, I want to say thank you to Andrew of Vanash Motorsports for sponsoring this video. Andrew hooked us up with a bunch of gear before we left for this trip. Foot pegs, bar risers, 
GPS mount and a brake lever. And uh, today I just want to show you the awesome foot pegs that we put on this bike. So these are the Vanash Motorsports Adventure foot pegs. They are a three quarter inch lower than stock and much larger platform. So it gives you a lot more comfort and control and they are very comfortable standing up all day. I'm actually more comfortable standing than I am sitting on this bike. They're made with high strength aerospace grade 7075 aluminum which is double the strength of 6061. So you might see some cheaper knockoff stuff made by companies in certain countries in the Eastern hemisphere. They don't use this high quality aerospace grade aluminum stuff. So these are very sturdy. They have a lifetime warranty against breakage and they're made in the USA. Andrew creates all these products. He's an engineer and then he actually builds them all in his barn in Albany, Oregon. He's my neighbor. So American made, American company and just a one man operation out there making it happen. They actually come with two different sizes of these studs. So these are the shorter ones that I've put on this side and then you can also go with the longer if you're in more muddy nasty terrain and these are replaceable but i've been riding three days on the washington bdr and obviously haven't lost one so they work well they're not really tearing up my boots i know sometimes you see this and think oh that's beefy it tears up your boots but hasn't been the case just good grip in all conditions mud wet everything and i'm really happy with these foot pegs so far pretty easy to install so check out andrew's website i'll put a link to it thanks to vanash motorsports for sponsoring this video we are all packed up trav has completed his application for biggest that guy of all time but it's 10 30 and we're getting out of here and we're gonna hit the jungle thanks lake chelan it's been nice knowing you Ooh, sprinky nice so they put this sign here after mike broke his leg yesterday yeah. motorcycles use extreme caution now we're pulling up to this construction it must be pretty grooved up there extreme caution I like how she points over here like we were gonna drive right through that dump truck. Dude, I can't even like go in first gear. The caution is too extreme. It's stopping it, even though it's slow. We're using extreme caution, bro. There's a dump truck in the road, which is the alternate name for my channel. I feel like I used extreme caution and was, was totally safe. All right, we're off the main road, heading up this paved road, up Shady Pass Road, away from the lake. I'm gonna be in the jungle, baby. I'm gonna die. Dun, dun. I think singing the song actually keeps you safe. It's an offering to the jungle gods. Okay, here we are, turning off the pavement, so we're switching to goggles. Too close for missiles, switching to guns. Off-road mode, we're ready to go. That, that is neutral. Yeah, I should have done that. What is this? It was a freaking spaghetti. Old logging implement? That's cool. Just take a picture in front of that. Not a great place to stop and turn my camera on, but it feels like the footage might be good. Well, that just throws you into it right away, doesn't it? Okay. Here we are on the sketchy side. Big rock, big rock. Looking good, Lake Chelan. Okay, this is starting to look jungly. Oh yeah, this is a little jungly. Rocky. Dr. Scott. Bread. Oh, this was muddy recently. This would have sucked. I know I'm tagging these trees with my bag, but that's where my line is. Look at that. It's a campsite right here. Yeah. Pretty gorgeous. Ooh, water crossing. Oh, damn. This gets interesting. You good? Oh, I can't get out of the rut. I'm target fixating on it. Yeah, this is definitely the jungle. We're in it now. You know where you are? close. I almost took my visor off. There's a very low branch on the right side. Oop, going back down. Just kidding. Yeah, this is something. I'm working a lot of clutch right now. Oh, there's a real bad one up here. Yeah, into a loose 
No, it's okay. It's flattens out around the corner. Yeah, there's no way I could have ridden this last year. I'm not 100 percent certain I can ride it right now. It's just happening. The crash bars are brush guards right now. <laughs> I just went through a big old pile of man's knee that damn it, the left side's better again. Why did I come over here? Yeah, my giant loop bags are getting put to the test. I should have put bushwhackers on and run a camera on them. Yo! Oh. Okay, that wasn't good. There's a big log on the right. Not sure if I hit it or not, but... Oh, this hitchback sucks. That is neutral. Oh, good. Sketchy, loose hillside. I need to stop. I'm in my head right now. I'm in my head. I need a minute. So we're here stopped on the cliffside in the jungle and uh, I just needed a break. Less than half an hour ago we were down there at the lakeside so it climbs quickly and it's called the jungle because you can see there's lots and lots of foliage. It looks like the trees burn but all the manzanitas come back quickly so it's still pretty overgrown but I've come up quite a ways on this loose. There's some sand and tight tight switchback so interesting section. Hey, Ben, do you know where you are? I'm in the jungle, baby. We're not going to die. <laughs> dun, dun, let's hope. Let's hope. Dun, 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 what is that? Dun, 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 dun. It's the jungle equivalent of banjos in the woods. <laughs> you can hear echo. Dun, 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 Okay, flattens out up here. Oh, it's grass or a gra or dirt. Okay. Oh. So there's a bypass for this section. I can tell why. Not necessarily my ability limit, but my courage limit, because the the height is is complicating things. The uphill side is always worse in terms of rocks, but the downhill side is you know downhill. Big log on the right. Not huge, but not my favorite thing ever. I feel like I'm in the challenge course at Turretech. Bunch of sand with logs to hop over. Here's the bypass. Here comes T-Rab. Nailed it. Oh, that jungle section was very challenging, more so than I was expecting. It's that loose, rocky, big rock uphill stuff on the side of a sheer cliff, and it just was a lot. So we took our time, picked our way, stopped and took breaks, and you know, and I, when I got sort of stuck in my head, I, I wanted to stop and not keep pushing and make it worse, kind of catch my breath. So uh, that was fun and challenging. And again, it's type two fun. I'm really glad that we did it, but I don't want to do it again. Wow. Something, something. Oh, that was a big clunk. Big rock. Oh, aired off it. <laughs> that was both tires, dude. I also ruined my footage by saying aired off it, but unbelievable. Huh? Great ride. Nice. Yeah, the jungle is interesting. Is it? Yeah, oh yeah. Tenere, what's up, fellas? All right, well, ride safe. That's me, what's up? Mike, good to see you again. Yeah, Mike's here. You guys want a sticker? For my YouTube channel, you're in my video now. There you go. You're modeling for me, you're doing great. Yeah, yeah, thank you. A Tanner and DOZ, nice. Very cool. All right, guys, well, we won't keep you, but good to meet you. Ride safe. There we go, meeting friends, getting recognized in the middle of freaking nowhere. So we're off of the easy gravel road onto this little bit 
less maintained secondary road on the cliff side that's sandy and interesting but so far so good here's a hell of a view the thing about route 4 is these views there's just so many of them it's definitely got the best most consistent views of any section we've done uh you know the, the last three anyway there's there's great views on all of them but like up here it's great views like all day like the whole time you get out of it for 20 minutes and bam back in the amazing views damn dude i just it's not even worth stopping all the views are this good jeez it's just all over the damn place but this is the town of ardmore such as it is there's a five mile an hour bridge it is quite the bustling metropolis it's got a cool bridge almost decided not to go yeah i guess i did that's exactly what i did okay cool we're going this way Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that was a longer way down than I was expecting when I jumped off the backside. Yeah, my feet were like, you haven't hit the ground yet. It was sketchy. That's something. Yeah, that's literally the town we just came out of down there. Wow, cool as hell. That's something. We're just on that highway. That's super cool. This is a fun road. This is the road to Chumstick. So if you saw my Touratech 2021 video, we rode up here, but I lost a bunch of footage at the top because my camera got switched into time-lapse mode. This is why I stopped using the GoPro. So you're going to get some actual good footage of it this time. So it's amazing. And it was overcast, so we couldn't see anything up there. It's much clearer today. So this is going to be great. And this is a fun road and ride. Yeah, coming out on top up here is pretty amazing. And you can camp up here. There's like five campsites. Look at this. This is your view. Like, unbelievable. Pretty cool up here. Just wait. This isn't even a good view. Oh, God. Bottom. She'll jump, though. It's not a great idea with all this weight on the back. Stop doing that. Or not. That's a campsite right there. Crazy. Some rocky technical. Yeah. Stuff that I shouldn't be going this fast for. Yeah, steering stabilizer's doing work right now. Ooh, this view is going to be epic. We did not see it last time. And the backside coming down isn't terrible either. That's not the road, dude. That's the part you came down. I'm going around. Oh, it doesn't actually look that bad. Jeez, I wish I got a better view of you doing that. You got to warn me when you do shit like that. You look tired, dude. Look at this, Chumstick Mountain. Wow. Chumstick Mountain, 6,000 feet, the jewel of Route 4, and it is windy, but look at this view. So testament to the quality of my giant loop bags, I have tagged today a rock face uh, on the right side of this bike going probably 25, 30 miles an hour. And I also hit a big tree stump on the side of the road going 25, 30 miles an hour. And these are scuffed, lightly scuffed. Look, there's a scuff there, scuff there, but I mean, perfectly usable, almost no damage if you didn't know what you were looking for. So uh, that, <laughs> that's impressive. These things take a licking and keep on ticking.
Oh, it is amazing up here, but all good things must come to an end. So we're going to head back down and head into Kashmir. Uh, fun experience. I just signed some of the final papers for selling our house because we're buying a new house and getting a getting an acreage, getting 14 acres of forest. I just did it up here on Chumstick Mountain. So that's a cool memory. Won't forget that. It's windy, so we're going to head down, try to find some food and then a place to camp. We are almost to the end of Route 4. Okay, my legs are tired of standing up today. Yeah. They want me to sit down until it's necessary. Now that, that is a view. Yeah, it sure is. Beautiful, babe. Perfect, baby. It is. Not too hot, but it's clear. The bugs aren't bad. Freshly graded, super soft stuff. It's interesting. It's like sand, but intermittent. So you hit like a deep hole of softness, which is not a good thing. It normally would be. In some in some instances it is, but not while you're riding a motorcycle. So it's like sand, but tricky. But it lies to you. We've officially completed section four. We're here in Kashmir and just stopping at a gas station to get some food and gas. So food for our bikes. And then we're going to go try to find a dispersed spot to camp for the night. So uh, I have to say section four was my favorite so far uh, with the exception of uh, the jungle, which I would, I would love to never do that again. So yeah, but uh, we're going to find a spot to camp, hopefully in the woods and catch up with you then. Travis just talked to his wife on the phone and uh, She's having some health issues lately and he thought he had it squared away and had her enough help uh, as long as anything didn't happen while he was gone and something did happen and so he's gonna have to go home tomorrow. We have uh, been riding all day. It's six and a half hours home from here. So he's wisely not gonna jump on the road tonight. He's gonna get a good night's sleep and then head home. But unfortunately, that means it's the end of the route for Travis. It'll be just Tim and I, assuming we decide to continue on which I feel like we will, but unfortunately the hardest parts of the route are still ahead of us, three and two. So, you know, Travis will be missed is all I'm saying. Leave some well wishes for Travis and his family in the comments, but family comes first and uh, he'll get up here and complete the last half of the wild road another time. But for now, we're gonna go try to find this first camping site. This is my least favorite thing to do. Not because I don't like this first camping, but because it's already 518 and uh, at least we've already eaten. That's the thing. I get real nervous when it's like, I gotta find a place to camp, set up camp, cook food, eat food, go to bed. Uh, all we really need to do is find a place to camp before we go to bed. So if, even if we had to ride for two hours, I mean, that's not ideal for Trav because you'll have to backtrack two hours. But in terms of finding a camp spot, we're just sleeping there, you know? Like I've said about 10 times, this is a, this is a camp to ride trip, not a ride to camp trip. We're on the route right now, leaving Kashmir, headed up into the wilderness. Tim's found it, just like that. Let him scout on the small bike. You know, we're cool like that. We're generous and allow him that opportunity. So we found a cool spot here by the creek and uh, we are dispersed camping for the evening. And as I mentioned on the way in, it is unfortunately Travis's last night. I would show you Travis's face, but he is pornographically attired at the moment. Um, and I can't afford to get demonetized because of his rippling pectorals. So, uh, I'll put on a shirt. Use your imagination, but here's the creek. Here's Tim. Here's the creek. So we're gonna be down to two of six. And I'm gonna break rule number one and enjoy a beverage before I set my tent up, which means I also don't get the good tent spot, but. Fucking cheers, man. Hold on, hold on. Thank you. I got seltzer because it uh, is the least gross when it's warm. Oh, dude, the bill of this hat really got, took a little beating in that today. <laughs> Cheers, fellas. Trav's last night on earth. No, just on the trail. Thumbs up for cheers. Tim is reverse fishing. He's tied a, a piece of andouille to a string and he's throwing it in the water to keep it cold until morning. But also maybe there'll be a big ass fish on that thing by morning. Who knows? I'm, I don't know about fishing. Is that how fishing works? Tim and I have decided to continue on. Tim was gonna continue on anyway, but he's graciously allowed me to slow him down for the rest of the trip. So uh, we're gonna keep going. 
trying to finish this thing for you guys because I've been talking about it forever, right? So even though this trip seems to be cursed and people are dropping like flies and we lose at least one person a day. So although we did gain a person one day because yes. we gained Tim, yes. but then we lost three people. Then we lost Trav. So it may be that I just let uh, Tim finish this video because he's the only one that gets to the end. I would guess that of the two of us, I'm the most likely to not make it. Although my bike's newer, so maybe it is less likely to break down. I don't know. Tim's making some fajitas. <laughs> he just put a bunch of ghee in his, in his thing. I'm going to have to take this shirt off because it seems to be cursed. Because if your logo's on here, you've dropped out of the trip. Except for me. So I'm going to change tomorrow. Fajitas in the woods. That's that pretty damn fancy. fancy. You know what I make in the woods? Nothing. Chef Tim. Chef Tim. Chef Tim. It's in the supply. Look at that jaw action. Mm -hmm. It's like a snake. He just hinges that thing. Goes to town. It's good looking food. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Trav randomly put some fire starters on this log that was in the fire and now we have a fire. So go Trav. So in honor of Travis's last night, this is a Gurkha heritage. This was given to me by Ken at the Turtec rally. Thank you, Ken. I thought in honor of Trav's last night, I would smoke the good cigar that I brought. So uh, let's do that. Gurkha heritage. You guys are always like, what are you smoking? A Gurkha heritage. What does it taste like? Smoke. Senior Puff Puff in Espanol. That's what the Cubans call them. Senior Puff Puff. This fire started out as like a total joke. Travis put a fire starter on a log that was already in here. And look what Tim has done. Straight up Tim. He timmed it to hell. He timmed it up. He's over here continuing to Tim it in his underpants. Oh, whoa, stop. This is PG-13. Excellent! Yay! Hopefully we don't lose anyone else. Washington BDR is cursed. It's right on the cliff edge. Great. That's the worst thing I've ever done on an adventure bike. Definitely stop here if you're doing the Washington BDR. Look at these potato skins I ordered. This is the coolest place I've ever camped. Thank you.